All right, quick video on how to set up D2X custom on your Nintendo Wii. Go to Homebrew Channel. Go to D2X, the iOS installer. Press the button. All right, go to 53. This one here, you want to make it 57. Now just press A, press A again. Once it's finished, it's going to look like that. Press A. Right, and this one here, you want to make better 52. Make this 57. I mean, sorry, 56. And make that 250. And then here, revision, 65535. Press A, press A again. It's going to go through a few different downloads. Just let it do its thing. Right, it's done. Press A. Right, this one here, we want to go 58, 251, 6535. Press A. Press A again. Let it do its thing like before. Now remember, you have to have internet connection. Make sure you've got internet connection before you do any of this in the beginning of the Wii menu. It's finished. Press A. And right here, press B to exit. Now, that's your D2X custom, all done. And that's going to be in a way, uh, having it in that order, how I just showed you, is going to fix a lot of your faults with a lot of games that don't load, Call of Duties, etc. Um, now you're going to have no problems. All your games will load. Hope that helps everyone. So just press B to exit. Then what you want to do is actually exit right out, go out to the Wii system menu, and then turn off the Wii and do a reboot. Uh, before you turn the Wii re back on, plug your USB in, whatever you, 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 your USB you're using for your games. Um, so, what you want to, yeah, so you want to go out of here, exit the system menu, and then at the system menu, turn off your Wii, plug whatever USB device you've got. Uh, if you look at other, my other videos, it tells you how to set up your USB for your games, etc. Right, so here we want to turn off the Wii. And then turn it back on again, but with your USB connected, whether it be a normal USB small one, or if you use a SSD hard drive, um, or an SSD drive, or a HDD hard drive, um, you know, 500 GB or 200 something GB. Uh, watch my previous videos to work out how to set them up. Uh, but now you should be right, and this will play all your Call of Duties and everything. As I say, so we're going to the USB loaded GX mod. And you can have just the USB loader GX. I've set this one up with the GX mod. So USB plugged in. You want to change the menu thing, do that down here. Well, on the mod one it is anyway. Right, we might just want to have show Wii games only. Just go into that, go into that. If you've got GameCube as well, put GameCube there, but I just want the Wii games to show. There we go. So that's your D2X custom all set up, all your games registering on your SD card, SSD, or your hard drive, HDD. So they're your best settings that you want to use. And to set it up completely, what you want to do is go down here to settings, go to GUI settings. You'll see my previous videos, it tells you all this anyway, but this is what you want to all set at. You can pause this slow motion or whatever you need to do. Right, you'll see here, this is your main thing, disk default, and have off, 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 system default, console default. Now down here, 249, iOS 249 for the loader and for the game iOS. You want it to come out when it returns to it, you want to return to USB loader GX or just USB USB loader or USB loader um, GX mod, which is the one I've got here. And then you'll go back at your games instead of going all the way back to the Wii menu every time. So we'll just go through all of these. As I say, I'm going through them fast. You can just pause this or do what you need to do to read it. Hard drive settings, FAT32, multiple one. Oh. Mount USB at launch, yes. Game name, guy ID. We'll actually change that. We're going to make that game ID game name. All right. Uh, still only game partitions. No, we want all partitions. All right. There we go. Features, yes, on, on, force titles from disc, you can put that on as well if you want to, right, um, we shall leave that at that, I 
I'll just show you custom paths as well. Just make sure you got these all set up right. That it's all going the way you need it to. You just be loaded. As I'm going to go through this pretty fast. You just pause it where you need to. Right, so now what you want to do is go into your Call of Duties. As I say, they're normally the ones that don't work. They get stuck at loading bar. There's a few games that will. Go into Game Load and you'll see here, use Global. That's going to use the settings that we just set up in that other settings menu. Alright, so you don't have to change it here. We've got it already done. So just leave everything as Global. Down here, see so even this, change that. That shouldn't be like right there. Boom. So you go minus one and that'll go to Global. Save. Yeah, you see, gone to global. Okay, USB loaded you. Right, sweet. Back out of here, start game. Normally it gets stuck on the loading just there, and of course, straight in. So that's your game fix, or actually the proper way to set up your Wii so that way you don't have any game crashing or game freezing. All your games are going to run. Most of them anyway, as I say, there's only going to be a couple of settings you have to change, if any don't, I'll show you what they are quickly. Anyway, I'll go to here so the game's running, you can see it's running. Alright. Oh, let's just say by chance that you do end up having the odd game that won't load. You shouldn't do, but let's say you do. I'll show you what settings you should be doing. Don't change anything on the D2X. We've got that set here. It will run all your Call of Duties, okay? Um, so you go into your settings, your game. This big game, Hunter, don't worry, it's running fine, so you don't need to do it to this. I'm just showing this as an example. So you go into your game load, and the only ones you really want to be changing, if you do get a game that's not loading, don't worry about changing D2X again or anything, all that's fine now. So what you want to be doing is here, video mode, change that to system default, and then try your game. Back out of here, try your game. If it doesn't work, come back in here, put that on disk default, try your game. i found most of them work on disk default, if you do have an issue. Uh, of course, you have got the occasional one, I think there was a couple of games I had to force NTSC. Uh, might have been the NTSC 480p, but then you've also, if you're still having all of them, none of them load, whatever one does the best loading and gets to the furthest way, then what you want to do is come down to your aspect ratio, put it on 4.3. Just remember when the Wii came out, the TVs back then, you know, we had 4.3, we just got to 16.9, but you can change it forced to 16.9 in system default. But my first thing would be, first setting to show you that you do change, is here so the first one i'd tell you to try for if it doesn't work is go this default and this one here aspect ratio go system default and if that doesn't work come back up to here and just change that one and go system default one we just went to then but anyway this game's running fine we don't need to do it but that's your game fix, basically. Now, if any of that worked, and all the different combinations of this here, and your 14.3, 3, 4.3 and 16.9 don't work, you're still having problems where the game won't load up. I mean, there's a lot of combinations to try between that and that. So you could be trying Force Power 480 at System Default, Reboot, try it. If it doesn't work, come back in here, leave it at that, change this one to 4.3, try it again. Boot back out, if it still doesn't work, come back in, try that one. Doesn't work, go back to that. Come up here, change that one to that. Try again, doesn't work. Come back in, change it to that. Doesn't work, come in and change it to that, to that. So on and so on. And that's how you go through the coding of trying to work out which one it is. But if you do go through all of them and it doesn't fix your problem, this is your next fix. All right, come down to your game iOS. There will be the occasional game. There won't be many. It should all, should all be sweet. But here you can actually change it. So you go clear. Remember, we've got three different blocks. So you've got 249, you can make it. Um, well, I'll actually give you, for example, clear. So if I went 249, this game's now going to load from the 249 block. Um, clear that. 
next year we don't that's actually what it's running on so at minus one it says you use global global our global settings and that other setting menu at the start that i showed you is, is set to 249 so we've only got two left to try so if your game's not working go try 250 then go okay and then go save uh, i'm not going to do that here and the only other one to try if it still doesn't work and remember try all those settings i just showed you with the video and the uh, aspect ratio then come in here again go 251 go okay go to save another okay will come up and then go for all of those settings that i showed you before again well we can have minus one because we just want that to stay like that make sure we can just cancel anyway right out of here so that's your settings should be good for all your games and especially your call of duties because well we all know how hard they are to get going on <laughs> so that that's your settings anyway hope that helps everyone